Hey, I'm glad you're here, which means that you want to know how to write a comic, or better yet, you want to take a look behind the scenes of Code Utopia. Either way, you're in for a treat because we're gonna overview all the elements that we need in order to begin the process, then we're gonna search for artists that can show us the way into the comic script style, and finally, we're gonna dive into the making of the comic book experience. You can check out these videos that explain in more detail the first steps that we need to take. Oh, so you already watched them? Alright, so after writing down our ideas and getting the first draft ready, there's another really important element that we need to take in consideration, which is that we need to give our story the structure it needs. For that purpose, there's some really good books out there. They all have different ways of teaching the same principles, but if I was to pick one of them, it would be John York's Into the Woods, how stories work and why we tell them. This is an amazing book that portrays all the fundamentals of storytelling in a really cool way. So if you're thinking about bending or breaking the rules, you need to know them first. So keeping that in mind, and with all these elements combined, now we're able to move forward into finding our comic script style. There are always great artists that are willing to share their knowledge and experiences. They offer their insights on how to write comics and graphic novels. And in this regard, Anthony Johnston has a website where he not only showcases his awesome and vast work but also gives advice and resources for comic book writers. Here's where I found the script samples that helped me to understand the proper format for writing comics. I'm taking this script as a sample to get a nice font and letter size. Plus, I'm adding the introduction, character description, and setup for the story. The independent editorial Dark Horse Comics offers their own script format for everyone to use. So I'm taking what works for me and also creating shortcuts in Word so my workflow becomes faster. But that's not enough. I need to see how the panels will be displaying on the pages. So that takes us to the last step. Keeping in mind the experience. There are infinite ways of telling a story and when it comes to comics and graphic novels, the size, disposition, an amount of panels per page is crucial. By drawing how the panels are arranged in every page, I keep in mind the reader's experience. For example, in the counter cover I'm using a splash page. That means a one panel page to tell a prophecy, just to set up the mood. Then in the first page I'm starting from an almost completely dark panel to a setup and then a strange incident takes place that makes our character want to escape in panic and us wanting to turn the page. Here you can see how the script of Code Utopia looks completely professional, even with the header and the number on the pages. It also includes sound effects of comics, like when this poor guy gets his arm shocked, we hear chucked. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video as we keep on moving forward in the creation of Code Utopia. So now we have all the elements we need to make a good story reach a whole new narrative dimension. But you know what's missing? Your support. If you give me a like, share this video and subscribe to the channel, that would mean a lot to me. And if you want to be a part of the credits in the graphic novel, you can become a Patreon. So happy drawing, happy writing, and of course, stay safe.